So big theme here between uh, for for the day, really. We've seen Muriel Ban, Wukong Ban, Iggy and Scorch Ban, uh, left out of Belkaban. And that's exactly what we get. Belkaban here right off the bat, Phoenix Esports. They don't want to deal with that. She was very effective last game in Braun Army. <laughs> and Braun's Army with the Zinx Ban. Oh, boy. They don't want to deal with Zinx. Does that mean uh, Sneaky and Nobori's time in their... In the safe lane, they're pretty darn tough. Phoenix Esports takes the Rampage away from Bronze Army. As uh, it seems Stark was very, very effective on him last game as well. And Bronze Army going out with a gadget and Narbash. So there's that gadget. Very, very effective. Narbash right off the bat. And Kwong and Murdoch. Very quick picks here uh, for, for both teams. Kwong, Murdoch. Coming out again. Great, great off lane and carry. And quick, quick solidification here of steel and Severog. we have not seen Severog yet uh, he, very strong in his kit it's just how you execute it can you get those stacks can you you know deal with a slower farm and, and all that kind of business so be interesting to see that come out from here bronze army and the steel so where's steel going there's the twin blast and the gideon we haven't seen gideon here uh, yet, and uh, you see, 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 see him a lot in uh, solo queue, but in there's a reason why he's getting a buff, and uh, maybe, maybe we see that, M maybe not for Phoenix Esports' sake there, but very interesting team comps: Gideon, Muriel, Murdoch, Kwong, Rampage, uh, one, two, three, four very meta heroes versus Bronze Army with two, three very meta heroes. The Steel, Severog, very different. Severog being quite different, and the Steel. So, very interesting. Steel off lane, right? Or steel support Narbash off lane? Hmm. Probably Narbash safe lane, as uh, Nobori loves his Narbash. So, what do you think, Huddy? Again, no assassins on the map. No Countess, no Kalari. Um, Mario's no going to be. Yeah, no Wukong, no Ban, no Pick. Uh, steel was very strong in that last game. Bronze Army took him over. Uh, it would be interesting. The The only concern is if, like you said, if Severod can get those stacks up fast enough, he's going to be tough to kill. Very tough to kill. Yeah, and he's very, a, especially with Godmother. And he's a great initiator. Great. And, and to compound that with Steel. Like, yeah. I mean, just... Uh, just and the, it, Gideon pick, the Gideon pick's a little... Ah. Because the Narbash probably has the easiest response to the Gideon. Mm. I'm not crazy for the Gideon pick, but I would probably want a Howitzer, to be honest with yeah. you. Um, but, or even the Fae. But I mean, this... Faye can, the Fae can beat out Gadget and kind of be that initiation for her team. But eh, they have Rampage and Kwong, so I don't know. We'll Look, have to see. Just think about this combo right here, okay? Steal Alt you. You get Slid. Then you get... Uh, the shield slide, then you get a Severog um, subjugate, all while you're getting, then you get thunked by Narbass all under Gadget's Tesla Dome. Yeah. What are you going to do? <laughs> yep, that combo combo is there here wow. for Brun's Army. Oh, wow. Um, they've got me excited. <laughs> um, I'm pretty excited. I, I want to see how this match goes. The first match was fun to cast. All the matches have been fantastic. So I'm going to give all the guys at Epic a huge shout out because they definitely made it even more interesting to spectate, in my opinion. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's, I'm, I just, yeah. I don't even know what to say. Look at me. I'm speechless. You rubbed off on me. <laughs> hey, Dave. Uh... They they've done a lot of work and they're 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 changing it. They're trying their best to do uh, to do what they envisioned, and you know, uh, it's, this is just one step forward. All right, I'm in game. I'm at five seconds. Five seconds. And on my countdown, ready? In three, two, one, and we are live. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Game four, eight. Day one, here in round two of a best of three between Bronze Army and Phoenix. Bronze Army here on the left, Nabori on uh, Nabori on 
Narbash Miso sneaky on Twin Blast. See him Stark on Severox. Stop shot on Gadget and Taboo on Steel. The other team here, Phoenix Uprising on the right side of your screen. Water Melander on Murdoch. Slifer on Kwong. Revenge on Muriel. Drew Magnums on Rampage and Shady Nasty on Gideon. So Gideon, uh, Gadget in the mid lane, really both have tremendous poke, oh. uh, to be honest with you. Arguably, the Gadget's a little bit easier to land, but, I mean, the, the, the Gideon has great escape, so yep. the, he, he definitely will counter the Severog uh, ganks really quite well, so that is good to see. Uh, the Muriel and Murdoch versus a Steel, yeah. There's not much the uh, Steel's Consecrated Ground or Serenity is going to do against him. He, he's pretty scot-free, pretty good. Um, you know, as long as he gets something to deal with the poke, which I have a replay bug and I don't see anything. Uh, hopefully he does indeed. Quan versus Narbash and, Tw and Twin Blast, what do you think? Um, I think Juan's going to be in a little bit of trouble, to be honest, uh, because until his he gets to at least level th one, two, three, he can't really do much poking. He has to come all the way out, so he needs his lifesteal. Where he does is when he's able to throw his sword, get that tether, hit him, and pull the sword back without getting himself in trouble. But like I said, that's at least level three. Yeah, because Nabori is uh, is poking him down. Uh, but Cypher is just like I can take him, man. I got my, I got my alt. He's I'm presumably going for he could only go in for quick exit. Ooh, okay. So he's uh, he's kind of bacon on the fact that he can just life steal his way. And you know what? Yeah. That's almost fair. With that life steal and the uh, light of the heavens, it gives him that armor. That's actually probably fair. That's not really that bad of an idea. Look at a slow push though. Oh, wow. The, three the, three range minions, one siege. Uh, Slifer has really been in, unable to do anything. So that's going to be, oh boy, probably half power health? Not more. I mean, it, it, he can't really go in because if he gets thunked, Sneaky will yep. jump, all, Twin Blast will jump all over him and kill him. He's only at 250 health right now. And, and look at Severog over it. there. And they're going to get the kill just as we expected. Rampage coming in, coming in a little late, was able to kill uh, um, Narbaz. But, hey, you know what? You got the off later off the map. Oh, Sneaky oh. in a little bit of trouble. Let's get over here, get over there, see if they can get him. Chase him in shadow, and he gets him! But he might die from it. Oh, Auto Shield saved his life for now. Here comes Stop Shot rotating over as Gadget, invisible. No one knows he's there. If he can land that mine on him. If he can land that mine on him. Oh, oh so close. No. Sticky Mine would have killed him. Wow. So, very, very, very close call here for Sneaky. Yeah. Um, you know, he did die, didn't he? Yeah, no, he did die. Did he? Did he oh, my, my apologies. Yes, no, yes, no. my apologies. The Gideon did. Yes, yep. he, he did die for it. So, wow. Good response here. Good response from Phoenix to try to put pressure there on, um, on Brian's army who decided to to definitely go for the Quan kill. Um, so, it's not, that was not worth it for Bronze Army um, from the great uh, rotation here from Phoenix Uprising. So, Phoenix Uprising playing very good, very, very well. It's just, uh, you know, Bronze, Ar Bronze Army have that PCL experience. So, it'd be, uh, be interesting to see if they can rely on that here in uh, game two. Uh, taboo as steel working his way up a little bit revenge in water melon dre water see i like that with steel in the off lane throwing the shield up not it, it's only a couple seconds but it does slow down this the damage that can't go to the tower which is usually a few seconds is all you get the poke 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 so you are slowing it down as much as you can the tower is down to about 20 percent health going in over there jumping over with stop shop Following Gadget right now, walking right into a Rampage with a D to the face here. And then a um, a rock from um, Gideon there and the black buff. No chance at all to get out of that. Took the rock to the face, took about 200 damage. Came in, got an asteroid to the face, also on the top of the head. 
Oh, me so sneaky in a little bit of trouble trying to get out. Gets out of it. Does not quite get it. Ramp it. Oh, nice job by Narbass. Nice thunk to the face. So I'm going to get out of her. Jab, jab, jab. Oh, here comes Severog. First time we're seeing Severog involved in the match so far. Just getting out of there is Severog. Just trying to work up his stacks right now. I will skin here from uh, Starcon Severog. He's, he's, all, he's almost master too. He has, he, he has his nine crown. Um, very cool to see that. So, I, you know, Bronze Army, they're, they're playing it. They're playing it cool. You know, they aren't they aren't over rotating to 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 make crazy plays. Uh, CM Stark was grabbing the jungle, the Phoenix Uprising's weak jungle oh. there for some farm. So, I mean, yeah. they're playing it calm. You, you know, know it, it, gone. for for the viewers that have been with us for a couple hours now, we brought in Think Twice, and we were talking to them earlier about the exhibition that they won and how they were able to beat one of the most dominating teams in North America. And they said they tend to, the North American teams tend to wait for mid to late game, and they grouped up a lot. And it looks like, oh, my God, like a big D over. Hits me so sneaky. Can't, oh, he is able to get out of here. He did get under his tower right before. Gideon was a little late on that rotation. Otherwise, they probably would have had two if not uh, one, if not two. But going back to think twice, they were saying they like to group and push early and often. And the NA teams tend to stay in the laning phase longer. And you're seeing that with the Bronze Army. Doing the laning phase, being patient, relaxing. Saying, okay, we'll do this a little bit at a time. Gadget right now. and Oh, nice rock. Uh, from uh, Gideon pushing Gadget down. Gadget has about... 700 health in the crown. Misses that rock. Right now, Taboo up all the way up by himself. Able to do whatever he can. Narbass invading. I mean, I'm sorry. Um, um, why, am I, why am I drawing a blank? Rampage invading CM Stark's jungle. CM Stark just follow him, waiting. Sitting him a little bit. Let him know what's going on. Oh, nice job by Murdoch to kill that. I was staying with the jungle here. Going over, dropping to the drone. Seeing if we can find anything, get a little action going. I did miss the first kill in the match. Shame on me. Stark. Nothing really. Nothing uh, really. It was just a, uh, just catching the gadget out the, the, the poke from the three from the three man gank there, and then the uh, Murdoch to, to finish it off with the long on the law. So good rotation. I mean, gadgets having a uh, gadgets having a tough time with the uh, spot on rotation from Drew, Drew Magnum's here. As a rampage jungle, and then the uh, safe lane, the safe lane rotation to the mid lane. Mm -hmm. So, really, uh, that's just that's just it. The great, great map awareness here from Phoenix Uprising is uh, kind of putting the pain to Bronze Army in in some way uh, in, in their safe playing. In the farm department, is that uh, is that evidence? Um, no, not really. So me, me so sneaky, 42 to Water Melander's 52. So a little bit, actually. Yeah, so about 20% more uh, so far. That can change very quickly. See him Stark at 45. So what a uh, farming beast Ooh. here. Jumping in Rampage. Rampage having to use his ult. He does miss the subjugate. It's Severog. Rampage swinging, dropping hay bombs. Look here. Doing everything he can. Throws the big D. Hits Sambu in the face. Oh, there's the Severog ult. And quick cooldown. Moving in. Staying with the jungle. Staying in over here. Let's see if anything happens. They're able to back out. Gadget does drop in and could have paid for it, but was able to get out without any real issue. Just a little bit of posturing there. Both teams flexing a little bit of muscle, saying, I'm not really that afraid of you. Let's be honest. Yeah. Uh, Phoenix is being is being quite confident in, in, in what they're doing, and Bronze Army is just kind of like, yeah, just do it. We'll... Uh, well, you know, we'll farm, we'll do, we'll we'll play the game, and uh, we'll do well. The mid lane here is not looking too good for stop shot. Uh, Twenty three C uh, CS to Shady Nasty's forty five. He has seven. Uh, he has seven attribute points. Two Ooh. shots. Uh, shot stops. Five. Shot stop shot. Woo. <laughs> uh, so there you go. Advanced evolution, thought of experience, mana flow, acolyte. Exactly what you want to see there. Trying to get levels and that sustain. While uh, Shady Nasty just hasn't got time to go back. He's just been putting on the pressure. Um, really feeding off of the Rampage's 
ganks here in the mid lane. Miso Sneaky here. Can he catch up? No, the the difference here, the Delta is only increasing for Waterman Launder and uh, Miso Sneaky. Look at Shady Nasty just landing those cosmic rifts. The Long Order Law misses. Stop shot. Yeah. Really no option there. Wow, that pressure here. Gideon is proven, hey, Gadget's not as not as reliable when you get uh, those right. great cosmic rifts. Yeah, he's dropping them in, and they have a ton of jungle presence, too, which is keeping Gadget under his tower. Uh, Gideon, knowing that he has the teleport, just being a little more aggressive, he can get out of it. Taboo coming up behind Gideon, just totally ignoring him, not caring, moving over. I don't know what's going on. A little, a lot of posturing so far this match. Ah, Severog is invisible. That's what they're doing. They're trying to bait Gideon out where you can burst him down pretty quickly. Going to drop into the drone view here. Let's see if I can catch anything. Because if he can get a subjugate on him, and then you can combo that in, I don't think to be able to kill him, but to be able to get him off the map. There's the uh, subjugate in. Damn it. Mariel coming over the top, trying to keep him alive. He's down to about 300 health. Save. Oh! Just as we were saying that. Nice up. The crash bam boom going off right now. Nice rock to the face. Stop that. Mario was killed also. They're going to get three here. And they do. They are able to get three of them. Took them off the map as the Bronze Army winning a big team fight there. Waiting so patiently. Steel ulted on top of Gideon. Then went right into the uh, subjugate there by Severog. And then a steel push. Gideon could ne never had a chance to even use his teleport. Gadget came over the top with a nice Tesla Dome. To finish off the damage, and again, I lo I'm loving seeing the gadgets back in competitive play again because you didn't see them for a while. But that using the gadget, using the Tesla Dome, forcing people to either go through the Tesla Dome and take damage, or go straight into a frontliner. So it's like I love seeing people do that. Too many times you see people drop it on top of where people are immediately, and they end up getting out of the Tesla Dome or missing a lot of it. I like using it that way. Yep. And. Uh, Bronze Army showing their experience here. They're, they're being patient, making that gank work, taking them to tier one, but then kind of making the wow. weird mistake here and just giving the tier one freely to Phoenix Uprising. That's a common thing you see. Um, well, even even at my level, uh, you know, you, you get you get a fantastic tier two, and then you kind of uh, just you know, have a vacation back in base while the enemy team's like, fine, we'll take or Prime. So, odd choice there. Um, maybe that could have been foreseen. Uh, but I like what Drew Magnus is doing. He's in the jungle. He's hitting the, the gold link. I wanted to call it an amber link. Draining it. No one knew he was there. So all that extra, all that farm for the four other players, five other players, gone. He drained the link completely. Nice job. Adds up any after a while, too. Any interesting cards here so far? Playing the Zetchen, very, very uh, standard here from our junglers. And even the Muriel here, mm -hmm. Revenge, he has it uh, to deal that true damage to neutral or enemy minions. That's going to be really, obviously, very powerful in getting those Raptors and securing or Prime, and even stealing it, to be honest with you. So. Gideon here going for Astra Leaf. Nice to see that on a Gideon once again. Teleblinks, you kind of didn't see them on on, on, on Gideons for uh, for quite a while. So it's good to see that he'll be a, he'll, he'll have his escape when um, when going oh. from his ult. Severog and Rampage them... throwing punches back and forth, doing whatever they can. Here comes Nabu with steel, throws a rock just to get out. Of it. Woo -hoo -hoo. Sticky bomb. Even in Rampage's ult, took twenty percent down. Oh, in a little bit of trouble. Might be for Quan over here. Quang, excuse me. In a little bit. His tower's still up. Oh, my God. Gideon alt misses everyone. Oh, nice thunk by uh, Rampage. Crash bam boom going on right there. Can they finish him off? Quang and still Lizard. Muriel bringing him in, giving him that extra health. Uh, Severoff pushing through. Oh! Cosmic Rift to take out the carry right there. Twin Blast taking off the map. Mario trying to stay alive, getting out of it. Finishing him off is Severog. You see those stacks adding up. He has the full stacks right there. The uh, uh, 
Murdoch was a little late on the rotation coming over for that fight. That's why they lost it. And they're still going in. They're not worried about it. Oh, nice thunk. Narvas going right in. Tesla Dome over the top there and is able to back out. Is Nabori going to get away? He was not able to get away. Right now, MVP has to go to Gideon. He is hitting all his cosmic rifts. Finishing people off left and right. Took out three people there. That should give him a ton of gold. Or a little bit of a gold. He was finishing everyone off. Just, I think he had three or four Cosmic Rifts. Killed at least three people with them. Well, he's five, one, and two. So, I mean, that's definitely it. So, interesting engagement. Bronze Army, they had the advantage. Then they kind of lingered around. I kind of felt like Sam Stark was kind of fading the rest of Phoenix Uprising into an engagement, and he did. Unfortunately, the engagement didn't go in their favor, so uh, a little bit of maybe some executional issues. Here's some low mana. Was it was nice was steal all over nice the top there? Alt. Uh, is Kwong gonna ever get away? He was able to get away, he drops the sword, tether, was able to back off a little bit. Revenge just poking, poking, poking. Here comes Narbats over. All the players are on this side of the map except Murdoch. Murdoch's on the other side of the map, the opposite carry. Oh, they're all backing off. Again, very interesting so, right now. Answering answering each other's plays here, blow for blow. Um, you know, they take down a tier one tower. Hey, we'll take down a tier one tower. Yeah. They get a pick in the jungle. We'll get a pick in the jungle. Um, well, you know, you want to bait us. The wall then will match your 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 bait and uh, and, oh. and raise you a. A good engagement. Really interesting um, play here, and I'm not sure if Bronze Army is able to do their thing, like the same thing that they did last game. You can see their farm here meets those sneakies 85, the Water Melanders 130. Let's see if he's able to get out. He is able to get out. They finally get that safe power down. Rampage going in his ult, getting big, getting strong, flexing some muscle right here. Oh, the big D does hit Sneaky in the face with a gadget. Try and using the Tesla Dome as a defensive mechanism once again. Ooh. Did he get four people with that subjugate? I think he uh, did. That three, that three man subjugate, yeah. yeah. Well done. Steel on the opposite side of the map right now, trying to push it down. No damage to any tier two towers yet. 18 minutes into the game. And oh. there goes Shadow. Once again, with a no oh, he might be in trouble here. Oh, nice shield there by Mario. Shadow, great use of uh, great Not use of astral leap there. There it is, astral leap to go forward uh, to cosmic rift, and then he and then he has his torn space to get him out of there. Yeah, well done. Caught Shady, Shady Nasty is doing absolutely fantastically. He's put on a clinic right now. Ooh, Stark goes in and said, oh, no, I want out. Look at that map thing. He's going to be in a lot of trouble here. Gets a tether going on. 300 health, 200 health, 100 health. Can they finish him off? He has less than 100 health. Just a slap of the boop -op. Oh, And, of course, who gets it? The carry. Get him on board. Stealing, trying to get out of trouble now. He's running away. Got his dancing shoes on. Cosmic Rift does miss. Woo! What Throws aggression the coming up from Phoenix Uprising. I love Putting the pain, saying, hey. He has one last game with a, uh, with a, you know, with a good engagement or prime. But hey, we're not gonna let it even let that happen because we're going to simply put the pain all game, be ahead, and uh, oh, getting all over the top. There's no one to knock him down. He's trying to do as much as he can. Only does about 400 damage. Just a dumb over the top. Oh, he's dead. Mario was able to kill him. Was able to kill Gadget. Gadget came in, dropped the Tesla Dome. That is the problem, in my opinion, with Gideon right now. His alt does the same amount of damage. Ooh, nice steal to alt. It was able to hit Mario. Mario trying to get away. Has about 200. Puts the shields on. Steel does back off. Narbas does hit. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I just find it so amusing every time I see a thunk go off. Because it's such a hard throw, and it, the noise is like a thump. <laughs> to someone's face. I find it amusing. That is my... Um, personal opinion about Gideon right now his alt does the same amount of damage that his cosmic rift does but it puts him in a very vulnerable position where he's a sitting target over the top and it takes four seconds to get that damage down so 
I, that's why I don't think you see him played as much. But if you're hitting the the cosmic rifts like Shadow play, or I'm sorry, Shady Shade Na, Shady Nasty is right now, Gideon can be devastating in team fights, and we're witnessing that firsthand. I have an amazing replay bug where Twin Blast is hovering around like Gideon's travel animation used to be. All right, hold on. It's absolutely amazing. Do, do you see it? All right. Um, no, I'm good. I, I did it. I'm at 24. Oh, my goodness. This is hilarious. Well, I'm at 24. Oh, my goodness. He's so. Anyways, we. we <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. I wish I could record it right now. All right. 20 minutes, 44 seconds in game time. 20 minutes, 44 seconds. 20 minutes, 44. Give me a moment. 20 minutes, 40. Ready? In three, two, one, and go. All right, let's see if he's still doing it. Oh, rats. <laughs> Oh, it was absolutely amazing. He was he was hovering around like Gideon used to in his travel in his travel animation, um, and then whenever he would sidestep, it would let's be see. Like he does get to subjugate. Rampage was able to steal the purple buff. They get invisible. A nice thunk by Nobori over there as Rampage. I mean, um, as uh, Narbash. Yeah, so, a much comp both much teams are being a little bit careful now. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can see Bronze Army is a little bit on the back foot. Uh, it's a Legacy Uprising dual stealth in the mid lane. Look, that could be pretty devastating here. Let's see if anything comes from it. I'm staying with Narbass right now in the mid lane. It looks like it's about to go down. We might get the first set of jumpers down. I got a feeling we're going to see a team fight, a T2 Tower OP run. That's what both teams are trying to set up for right now. And it's interesting, the map is almost symmetrical. Left side of the map is pushing in one yeah. other, other side of the map is pushing in the other team's favor. So it's, uh, I guess you'd say it's pretty even. <laughs> well, Phoenix, Phoenix Uprising definitely has the, definitely has the, 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 the match pressure, like kind of like the momentum, kind of do what they please. So Bronze Army just has to kind of sit back, play a little bit safe. They are very much warded here around Orb Prime mm. uh, in, in their weak jungle. So they can see those rotations. Uh, so they should be good. I mean, I think they proved last game that they can come back from what's seemingly behind or just do well without really even telling. So it seems to argue 130 CS, 124 for me, so sneaky. But look at Water Melander, 100 and easily... 50% more farm here, 25 uh, to 29 total attribute points to, whoa, me so yeah. sneaky here, what? Yeah. He's at 20, 22. he's at 32. So either Water Melander here has died with a Hellfire engine perhaps, um, or he's saving up for it, I'm not sure. Well, let's see what happens. Right now everyone's just posturing, nothing's really going on. Very even match. A slight favor to Phoenix. They are winning the team battle match right now. But again, no damage to the sink. Well, I guess there's a little bit of damage to the blue tower here. But other than that, there's really nothing going on. The stacks the are just Kwong built. Here, the Kwong's actually really quite interesting. He's 14 agility, 5 vitality. Going guard, piercer, flag bear um, to give some great pushing power uh he will he should be able to provide his team with that map pressure and you know what maybe that is what has been doing that giving uh giving phoenix uprising the ability to just be there like get that pressure set the lane and then rotate back to a, a key objective point or team fight here we go we're going on op right now i don't know if this is a beta or they're really going for it, it looks like they're really going for it they're going in. They think someone's invisible. This is going to be crazy. I'm on the drone right now, flying over Orb Prime. Orb Prime has about 80% health. 
Is it, they still have the Zetchins? They do have the Zetchins to be able to use them coming in. Here comes Severog coming. Oh, Steel Alt. It's two of them. Tesla Dome over the top. Get in over the Tesla Dome. Pulling everyone in. Mirror Alt going on top of that. Really keeping everyone alive. The Bori is dead. Narbus is off the map. Looks like. Wow. 3-4 down for the Browns Army. Miso Sneaky. Complete team white for the Phoenix Esports going in. Now they're going on the rampage. Uh, I'm sorry, on Old Prime right now. They're going to try to get this as fast as they can. That came out of nowhere, ladies and gentlemen. Well done. They're going after Old Prime. They're going to get them. Let's see what they do with The map is literally at the middle point right now. They have two minutes and 30 seconds to put some damage onto it. It's literally before any damage is up, 20 seconds. Let's see what they can do for 20 seconds. Nice job. That Mario Alt coming over the top kept everyone alive just a little bit longer to clean them out. Here they go. What am I going to taking a little bit of damage coming in? Trying to put some pressure on this tower. 20 for my 10%. Tower. First tower is down. First T2 down of the map, guys. And I can't move. I can't move. My drone is frozen. Let me. Oh. There we go. All right, they did get the inhib down. Sorry about that, guys. It wouldn't let me control the map. We're now they're going to go here to the left lane and push this. Maybe they will get a T1, but it's going to be... Uh, all they have to do here is siege. They have to siege. They'll gain numbers advantage for the mid lane being pushed all the way in their favor. So they just have to play smart. Phoenix Esports. They just have to be, uh, be, be the... smart here. Got the second one down, going down. Oh my god. Cypher was able to taboo, was able to kill him very quickly. Jumping out of it. Miso Sneaky, one kill. Two kills. They got two of them down. They can turn they're trying to turn this around. And they kill the carry. Got three of them dead. One will have to go back and farm. I would not be surprised if you don't see the carry go mid and farm it up. No, he's deciding to stay with with the three on the left. They're gonna push up this left lane. It is down. I have seen that quite a bit in competitive play and in friend play or whatever. Oop. Solo Q. They know he's there and he's just hitting yeah. start. <laughs> and start won't get rid of his and this. He's just following around the map. Oh, there they go. Now they're beating up the two juggernauts going at the heavyweights. Both have about 9,000 HP between the two of them. Can't really get too much. <laughs> Moving up. All right, they continue to push they it up. Are, they're heavy pushing this left lane. They need to, to, to kind of alleviate um, the, the the balance here, the balance is in Phoenix Esports' favor, uh, which, by the way, I've been calling the Phoenix Uprising. My apologies. Um, they, you know, they need to do something, but they retreat. So, unfortunately, here... Ooh, Stark oh, might be in a lot of trouble. Severog's absolutely surrounded by everyone. Staying with him now, backing off a little slowly. Misses the Cosmic Rock. And then backing off, they do have ORP. Uh, at least one OP uh, still on the map for a couple seconds. I'm not sure who's still alive that has it. Steel was doing everything he can to try to push back that super wave mid. Sneaky running back, taking this time. Going into the jungle. They're still chasing after Stark. Chase. Oh, were they able to grab something? They were able to grab Nice stuck to the face. Rock and right back. Big D coming in. He's going down. Did not even have a chance for the crash. Bam, boom. Severog still backing off. Enemy core taking a little bit of damage. Sneaky having to go over and farm that up. Finally, now. No, it's still on the map for a little while longer. Dropping over there. Staying with the carry. Invisible is Watermelon. Right, watermelon. Murdoch. Murdoch is still invisible. <laughs> Sneaking in. He doesn't care. He doesn't care that the jungle will see him. Woo! Oh, he tried nice to teleport out of it, and he did not. Waiting for him was Drew with the big D, throwing it in, getting the kill. This might be a second inhibitor. LeBron's army in a lot of trouble. Going down a little bit at a time, putting damage in. Mirror all coming over the top, gonna keep him alive. See him start trying to get out of the way. Severog, he still has a ton of health. Sneaky was able to kill him. He's up on the other side of the map, trying to save that third inhibitor, trying to keep it up. Was not able to do it. Three are dead. The carry's the only one left alive with a Full team coming through. It looks like they're going to be able to get... Oh, now they're turning around, going after the carry, which they should probably just be focusing in on the core. Try to get that core down. Carry coming in, just trying to clean up 20%, 15%, 10%, 5%, 4%. Game over. Toronto... I'm sorry, Toronto. Phoenix Esports. Well done. 
We are going to have a game three, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Absolutely well done. Putting the pressure on, and you know what? Uh, Bronze Army couldn't do their thing from last game. They couldn't play a more mature, relaxed, um, more sophisticated almost kind of game where they they just do, they kind of just do their thing. They farm very efficiently, very effectively, and they just couldn't do it. I mean, Miso Sneaky still here, 194 to Water Melander's uh, 228. So not that far behind. CM Starks, 155. To, uh, you know, the Kwang's 137, uh, Rampage is 68. Maybe that's a replay value on my hand, but um, Shadi Nasty here at 98. So, you know what? Not too crazy. Staking a Dominion coming up for a Gideon. Um, that's slow, obviously, very effective with his ultimate and his rock, and even his uh, burden gonna go a long way there. Murdoch with Shadow Dancer, Shadow Dancer, Shadow, Go Shadow Golem, and Vampiric Blade. I find that very interesting that, that he's gone with the Shadow Dancer here, as it just proves how valuable that vision um, the, that vision is. Arcane Dancer coming up for Nabori. I, I really like Arcane Dancer. Obviously very effective against Gideon Ultimates, the Kwong, the Kwong combo, all of that sort of stuff. Twin Blast going for the uh, Sneaky, going for the Shield build. Sacred Alchemy not able to finish it off with... Uh, with Molly's tribute, we had an invader mage coming up for taboo. I'm not sure if that is a replay bug, yeah. but it didn't seem like um, I would hope so. As he, I would, I would hope he has more things than that. Plague Lord Molly here for CM Starks to work very well, prevent that healing and regeneration from the enemy rampage and Kwong, uh, and that's slow. So great, great decks. I mean. Atomic, oh, oh wow. Atomic Soldier staying Dominion and Astral Leap on a gadget. Youch. Youch, <laughs> youch. It was well played. Woo! I mean, it was awesome to watch that. It was awesome to be a part of that. 